You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Guys, you may have not have actually heard this, but Lamar Jackson has tested positive for the virus and he is actually unvaccinated, folks. So he will have to quarantine for 10 days. And now, guys, this whole vaccine and the virus, it has gotten completely political. We've covered that before. I'm pretty sure you guys know the politics involved with the vaccine. Now, Lamar Jackson World-class athlete, young. I'm pretty sure he has little to no complications whatsoever from testing positive from the virus. And actually, guys, this is not the first time he tested positive. Week 12, last season, Lamar Jackson tested positive and he missed a game. Now he has tested positive again. And now you have the governor of Maryland urging Lamar Jackson to get the jab. As you can see right here on OutKit, folks, Maryland governor urges Lamar Jackson to get vaccinated. Now, here's the thing, guys. We know, and this is just a fact here. If you get vaccinated, you can still get the virus. Now, Lamar Jackson has already tested positive two times for the virus. I'm pretty sure he has antibodies. I'm pretty sure he's having little to no effect whatsoever because he's extremely young and he is in excellent condition. The thing about this virus is it mostly affects people that aren't in very good shape. or have uh, underlying health conditions. And I don't believe that to be a case with a guy that's in his early 20s. That is a world class athlete. I'm pretty sure he's having little to no problems whatsoever. And now you have the governor, governor of Maryland coming out and urging Lamar Jackson to take the jab. Now, guys, we said it before. You check with your physician on whether or not you should actually be taking the vaccine or not. Don't listen to politicians. That's just my take on it. Check with your medical provider. Don't listen to us because we're not giving you any type of medical advice. And I wouldn't even trust the government to give you medical advice either. You check with your own doctor. OK. Now, with that being said. This is what the governor of Maryland had to say. It says here on the Ravens, Governor Larry Hogan, quote, Lamar's got to get vaccinated with the rules the NFL put down. I can't imagine a team wanting to forfeit a game or lose a chance at the playoffs and none of the players getting paid because someone won't get a vaccine. Now, guys, I highly doubt that gains will be forfeited because the NFL, one thing that they do love, they love their money. The game will be made up. Guys, think of this. All of these players in the NFL are world class athletes. In extremely great physical condition. You already had players miss uh, games because of the virus last season. I don't remember anybody having any major health problems when they got the virus because they take care of their bodies. And Lamar Jackson is no different. But to Governor Larry Hogan, if he gets the jab, if he chats with his doctor and his doctor says, all right, I recommend that you actually uh, take the vaccine. And Lamar says, all right. I will take it. What if he tests positive for a third time? What would you have to say then? And guys, we know that this uh, Delta variant is out there. You can get the virus. You can transmit the virus, whether you're vaccinated or not. I mean, that's coming from the CDC. I mean, that's why you have these cities out there trying to implement uh, mass mandates. And God forbid, man, if you're in New York City, I feel it's extremely bad for you what Bill de Blasio is doing out there. I mean, he is just went full dictator now with something that's even worse, I believe, than a vaccine passport. But I digress. But guys, what do you think it is? What do you think of 
Governor Larry Hogan trying to force Lamar Jackson to get the vaccine. I believe he wants to use athletes as an example. I believe he wants these athletes to actually push other people to get the vaccine because the government overall, the federal government, they, they're missing their numbers on the number of vaccinated people. And I got a bit problem, you know, with the government basically trying to force people to get the jab or not. And when it comes to athletes, these guys are in excellent condition. They have probably the best uh, health care possible because these teams have world class medical physicians on the staff, on the payroll. They're going to take care of their bodies. And Lamar Jackson is already tested positive two times. So what if he actually gets the jab and tests positive again? What will these politicians then say if he does test positive for a third time? I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but I'm pretty sure he's probably going to have almost no symptoms because of the physical condition he's in and he's going to have antibodies. I'm pretty sure he already does, but that doesn't necessarily stop you, you know, from getting the virus. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white live fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Live. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.